and people waited to see if there were any such neutron stars for years, until recently they found these strange pulsars which uh, emit flashes of uh, radio waves, and later they found light, which can go 30 times a second, for instance, the fastest ones, or maybe 10 times a second, or one a second. Uh, and at first, that's very mysterious. You're used to stars being big and slow, and how can anything in a star move in a 30th of a second? Well, these things are very small neutron stars, and they're spinning very fast. And there's some, for reasons not yet understood, they're emitting a beam of radio waves, like a searchlight in an airport or something, and those things go around, boop, 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 so we get the flashes, tick, 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 that fast. To imagine a star, the mass of the sun, doing something, turning so fast as 30 times a second, there's another one of these big number, hard to conceive imaginary things, okay? And the whole idea that there could be a star of such enormous density that a teaspoon would weigh so much that if, of the matter that if you put it down on the Earth's surface, it's so heavy it'll just plow right through to the center of the Earth, and things like that. It took a lot of imagination. It comes out of the mathematics and the analysis and all this that helps you to make sure you're not making a mistake. And it turns out that such a star was possible, and it turned out later, in fact, they do exist. 